Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today we're going to talk to you about my buddies Heat and Ice here. And i um, going to talk about some myths and um, you know what people believe is happening out there. And I think I might get a little thunder between the two here. So um, we have, you know, when you're doing Heat and Ice, people always think that um, it has to be one or it has to be the other. And really it comes down to you know how the person feels and talk and also about contraindications so when you are heating somebody okay oftentimes we, we think of heat as some way to decrease spasm um, make people comfortable and also to bring blood flow to the area now if it's good and local that's great now both heat and ice penetrate probably no deeper than about two centimeters okay so that's you know not very far and so what happens is if you think you're going to heat something that's really really deep like in your back or a deep muscle in your leg it's probably not going to penetrate very far but the heat can help relax an area so that you can move better okay so i use heat a lot for different reasons now you need to be careful with heat because skinny people um, or diabetics um, you know like if you're heating the foot or something like that you're at high risk of you know burning and don't fall asleep on a hot pack, especially an electric heating pad. I've seen it numerous times where they get a big burn because they've fallen asleep on a hot pack, okay? Now, when it comes to ice, people always say, well, I'm using ice to decrease swelling. First things first, ice is a pain reliever, okay? It helps to decrease nerve conduction velocity and it helps to just decrease the pain messages from the sore area to your brain. All right. Now you can ice immediately after an injury and there's a reason for that because that keeps the blood vessels small, the capillaries small and they don't expand as much and they don't bleed so much into the area so it can help that hemorrhaging at first. But after about 12 hours and the swelling has all occurred, it's not going to work to get rid of swelling because what is swelling? Swelling is mostly is mostly water okay and I just did a podcast about this so you can check it out it's episode 105 on the ortho Valpal podcast check it out explain the physiology behind that so if you have mostly water in swelling what will ice on it do not much so one of the ways or a couple ways to get rid of swelling would be to compress it and to get it elevated above your heart all right so ice is a great way to get rid of pain heat is a great way to get things to relax a little bit People who, um, you should always ask if people have allergies to ice before you ice them. Um, and, um, you know, you want to make sure that you uh, don't do it for too long. You can't, like, this is a commercial ice pack and I had to put a pillowcase on it because if you don't, that could actually freeze the skin and it keeps a, a, a really low temperature for a really long time, unlike an ice cube, which will melt over time. All right, so safety is key when you're using heat or ice. But... Don't lose your minds on trying to decide which is the best. Um, both of them can actually help decrease spasm. Um, I like to use ice on the back of the head for people who have headaches, especially tension headaches in the back. Um, they do really well with that. But if I'm trying to loosen up their neck a little bit, I might do some heat first to just get those muscles to relax a little bit. But, you know, it's not the end-all be-all when it comes to treating um, orthopedic problems. It's all about movement. It's all about flexibility. It's all about being strong. It's not just about these. Um, but everybody will respond a little differently to um, heat and ice. So I'd love you for you to leave your comments on what you like to use heat on, what you like to use ice on. Leave any questions you might have on appropriate diagnoses um, to use heat or ice with. And uh, I'd be more than happy to get back to you and answer your questions. Make sure that you um, get on to um, the rest of our uh, YouTube uh, uh, videos. We have a ton coming out. Subscribe to our channel and make sure that you uh, like our videos. I would greatly appreciate that. If you have any questions, contact me at paul at orthoevalpal.com. Be more than happy to get back to you. Have a great day.